Hey everyone, this is Mark. I wanted to show you a little bit about how to create a GA4 property. And then once you have that GA4 property created, how to set up page view tracking. So um, it's pretty easy to do both, but I wanted to show you how to do it, you know, since you're reading this blog and uh, it might be useful information for you as you kind of start to get in your mind the idea about uh, setting up a GA4 property alongside your universal analytics property, or if you're uh, you know, just creating GA4 on a, on a site on its own, you wanna set that up for the first time. So you go in and, and you would create a property under your account. Um, so you know, if, if this is a pre-existing account and you have a, a universal analytics property, you just create a new property and then you would get this screen. Now, Google Analytics um, GA4, you know, doesn't use the, the same configuration of like a property right, a property ID or, you know, a tracking ID, kind of the way that Universal Analytics uses it. They use their method of, you know, a data stream. So, you know, you can have, you know, with the introduction of GA4, you really are consolidating the Firebase for app and the web tracking for, for you know, through Google Analytics into one GA4. That's really the reason. Uh, the four stands for I think four aspects of tracking. Um, I don't remember them off the top of my head, but I think that's what the four stands for. Um, so for for our situation, you know, we're not using an iOS or an Android app. We're doing just just web tracking. You would just create web, and then one of the things that's huge with the uh, introduction of GA4 is kind of enhanced measurement. So you know, gone are the days, and you'll read in the in the, you've probably read this in the blog uh, so far. Is gone are the days of of you know having to manually track every single thing. That was a big thing with with Universal Analytics with GA4. They have enhanced measurement. They do it with some automatically um, tracked uh, events, um, and you can kind of see you know which ones these are. You know, file downloads, video engagement, site search, outbound link clicks, scroll, page view. Um, you know, page view naturally is going to count. You know. Uh, just like it would for, for Universal Analytics, you're naturally gonna have page views come through. It just wasn't necessarily sent as an event with Universal. Um, you know, scroll, scroll up tracking, that's something uh, that some people use, some don't, but it's native within the uh, GA4. Up on link clicks, oh, it's something that's use, useful, but you've always had to track it separately within Universal Analytics. Site search, um, there is settings within Universal Analytics to track the site search, and now it's kind of a, an event, so it's a little bit different, whereas it wasn't an event with Universal. Video engagement, that's something you had to set up d differently with, with Universal and it's often sometimes difficult. The file downloads, that was also you know, manually tagged. Um, so these are the ones that are that are deemed within you know that scope of uh, enhanced measurement. So you'd set it to be your website. So whatever your website is. So you know, let's do markswebsite.com. This isn't real. Um, you know, stream name. So it would be Mark's website or whatever it is, you know, say you're you know, any brand, whatever your brand, you know, website is, you can just name the stream name as that. And you create a stream. Um, and then they're gonna give you your measurement ID and, you know, your status. So saying that they've obviously picked up no data because you've not set it up. You can, you know, turn this off if you don't want enhanced tracking. Um, but I recommend, you know, doing this because it can kind of save you a headache in some situations. Um, and then, you know, really what are the two ways you want to do this? you know, versus the GTAG setup or the GTM, you know, and I always recommend GTM, um, you know, because it's just such a wonderful tool. Um, and then there's a few other things that, you know, in this situation don't, you know, unless you're doing, you know, client side tracking, uh, you know, cross domain, um, kind of a few other more advanced things, you know, say you're not doing any of that and you just want to like at bare bones, just have the tracking set up. So you'd really just, you know, you'd, you'd copy this to have your data stream ID, your measurement ID for your web, data stream. Um, and then you go into Google uh, Tag Manager. Um, and uh, I'm going to quickly just create a container just to show you kind of how it, it works. And we'll be off to the races. So um, this isn't live on the site, so I can't tell you, I can't show you that it works. But with a tag, you go to tag configuration you would not go to Universal Analytics as you would in the past. You would go to the GA4 configuration, you'd paste your measurement ID, and then send a page view event when this configuration loads. Um, you can have you know, GA4 send an actual page view event when you uh, when this loads, kind of exactly kind of how it says. Um, you know, going back to those automatically measured, you know, those enhanced measurement um, events. This would fire when when the, when this actually loads. So fields to set. Um, this might be useful to you. It might not be. Um, it's pretty bare bones, kind of somewhat like the Universal Analytics. 
Um, and then the uh, triggering. So you really just have it run on all pages. And then you'd save. And uh, you know you can save it as that. You can save it as really whatever you want. And then you can preview and make sure that it works. Um, or what's kind of handy within debug is that you should be able to start seeing events come through if, if the traffic is, is loading. You should see this. Um, you know, you should see you know, page view, page view, you know, the hits kind of starting to flow in here. You should see some automatic events flowing through if you're using the site, like scroll and, and whatever. So that's really uh, how to set it up. It's quite simple. Um, you know, it does get more in depth when it comes down to event tracking, but from bare bones, just, you know, like I speak to in this blog, you just want to start collecting data. This is your number one way to really start doing that. So I hope you uh, found this useful and uh, hope you enjoy my blog. Thanks, guys.